Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and took, took a trip to Yakushima. And things went okay. There were a lot of downs, because it turns out Yukari's father is partially responsible for the Dark Hour existing and all the shadows uh, giving people apathy syndrome. But there were a lot of ups too, because we got a new member of the team, Aegis, who is a humanoid robot whose purpose is to defeat shadows. So in this episode, we're just gonna get back to normal, everyday life, and hopefully nothing else bad happens for the foreseeable future, but knowing this game, something bad is probably waiting just around the corner. She's super cute, huh? She's super cute, but made out of steel. It's new territory for me. Honestly, I don't know how to approach this. I was gonna bring this up yesterday, but apparently Junpei would not date a robot, which... I don't know, he seems like the type of guy who would date a robot. She looks like a normal girl as long as she doesn't do anything too weird. But if she does, do you think anyone will figure out that she's actually a robot? Well, maybe not. Most people aren't on the lookout for undercover robots. Nicely done. Hmm, an anti-shadow weapon. That will be a most welcome addition. Most souvenirs are useless. Snow globes, keychains, postcards... However, this souvenir from Yakushima is très bien. Well, about that. A lot of people are joining the team, huh? Big difference from a while back. Yeah, it is crazy how far we've gotten. Uh, because originally, remember, it was just uh, Makoto, Yukari, and Junpei fighting with Mitsuru and Sonata uh, in the background, and the chairman too, I guess. But now we've got Fuka, and Amada, and I guess and probably more people to come. Everyone seems worn out. You must be exhausted too, Yuki-kun. Let's not go to Tartars tonight and just rest instead. Great. Fair enough. Ooh, I've got to do a voice for Igus now. I'll maybe do something like Elizabeth, but a bit more robot-y. These are your lodging quarters. Very well. I shall remain by your side at all times. She's still far from passing as a human. It doesn't look like she understands ordinary feelings in conversation yet. If she could, I might be able to form a bond with her. You see. Hmm. Hmm. Is there something you'd like to know about Aegis? Quite a few things we could talk about here. Uh, where are the others? I assume you are referring to the other anti-shadow weapons. Yes. Well, they were quite a few. Well, there were quite a few created. You could say they were Aegis's siblings. However, they were all destroyed ten years ago in the incident. Aegis has been quite lonely since then. You see. Why is she so human? A persona is a product of the human psyche. So the plan had been to place a human mind inside an anti-shadow weapon. The only real issue was the form that weapon would take. If we had used a tank, for instance, the weapon's mind wouldn't rec would recognize itself as such, and a contradiction would arise. As we all know, a tank is not a living entity. A human mind trying to reconcile its existence in this way would break down before you could blink. So, how do we prevent that contradiction? You see where I'm going with this, don't you? When given a body that more closely resembles the expectation of the mind, the spirit stabilizes. That is why I guess inter siblings were built in the form of human beings. You see. How come she knows? I couldn't say. Perhaps it's a bug in her facial recognition programming. I'm sure it's nothing to concern yourself with. You're not worrying over much, are you? So yeah, I guess it's still kinda drowned in mystery, but that gives us a little bit more... I don't know, a little bit more of an explanation as to some of the weirder details. This all links back to ten years ago, seemingly, so... The more we learn about that, the better. Okay, let's up our charm, please. If this ups our charm, that'll be really, really good. I'd be very, very happy with that. Oh, come on! It is morning. I request that you wake up. You have successfully awakened. Mission complete. My alarm clock. It has not triggered yet. Five minutes early is on time. That is the phrase posted on the wall, so I woke you five minutes before your alarm clock engages. Hey, are you awake? That girl disappeared and we can't find her anywhere. Can you help me? 
help us? She might have gone out on her own like she did in Yakushima. My name is not that girl. Please address me as I guess. while he was asleep. Unlocking the door took two minutes. That's unlawful entry. Didn't we tell you to stay in the command room at night? I determined that it is ideal to be on standby in this room. Is this a problem? What? Where is this coming from all of a sudden? If there is a problem, I will address it promptly. The problem? Well, it's probably against dorm regulations, for one. Look, don't just stand there. Tell her. I don't care. Well, you should care. She's not allowed in here. Okay, look. I'll get a room set up for you on the third floor so you can stay nearby. Just don't leave the dorm by yourself, okay? I will do as commanded. Yeah, okay. I'm tired. All right, well, I have practice this morning, so I gotta get to school. Everyone here goes to a place called school in the morning. I comprehend. I guess is one of my favorite characters. It's kind of hard to pick a favorite character in these games because a lot of the best parts is a character doing something and the, how the other characters react to said thing. Um, so whenever I think of like, ooh, what's my favorite character? I always think of like the main characters as one collective, like as a group instead of as individual members for some reason. So that's why it's really hard to sort of pick a favorite character for me. So it's so freaking hot today too. So I've been thinking. After we defeat all the shadows and the dark hour disappears, what's gonna happen then? Things will be peaceful. Well, yeah, but... Well, regular people don't even know about the dark hour to begin with, right? That means no one else will even know anything we've done. I mean, I, I get it'd be a huge problem if they did, but... It just kinda sucks, you know? Hey, the exam results are up. Okay, I'm nervous to see how I did. Top 10, sweet. I'm pretty sure that's what I got last time, so at least we're not getting dumber. Oh, that helps out with our charm. How close are we to charm? Because, and I know that I say this every time, but every single time I rank up, I feel like, okay, we're getting pretty close. And then I rank up like five more times after that. And then I try to rank up five more times after that and it doesn't work. Anyways, today is a big day, um, because if we go ahead and check our email... Never mind. Oh, no, I'm thinking of something else. Okay. Okay, never mind. There's something big that's gonna happen today, but it's not until later. Uh, we have tons of people that we can level up, such as Fuka, who I guess we'll go ahead and level up now. Hello! What are you up to, Yuki-kun? Do you have a minute? Oh, Yuki-kun. Looks like we finally, we're finally done with exams. We made it to the end. Hopefully that relieves some stress at school for a while. Um, are you free right now? There's something I want to talk to you about. Thank you. Oh, crap. I forgot to talk to Mitsuru and get our award for, or our reward for exams. Ah, oh, well, I could probably get it later. Let's go back to the roof. I'm sorry. This won't take long. I decided I want to be able to make more than just rice balls. I started learning how to cook because I wanted to thank everyone for what they've done for me. But only knowing how to make rice balls isn't going to cut it. I told myself I needed to do something more, but then I started to doubt myself again. That's when I thought of you. So what I'm saying is, um, I'd like you to help me for just a bit longer. And I'd really appreciate it if you could keep giving me your advice. I promise I'm going to do the best I can. Can I count on you? The best option to say here is, of course. Really? Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you. I just want to thank everyone for helping me find my place in the world. I know I don't seem very reliable, 
But I want to make myself a useful member of the team. Best option to say here is that's the spirit. Thank you. <laughs> it feels so reassuring to have your support. More than anything, though, I want to keep learning. For your sake, too. I'd like to be able to help you with more than just fighting. I can sense Fuka's powerful resolve. Seems we've grown closer. I've been considering that maybe during social links I stopped saying out loud the best option to say here is because I feel like that's kind of a pace breaker uh, for social links. Um, because I, I always w I want people to, like use this as a guide if they want to, but if you if you're using this as a guide, just follow what I do. Um, I promise I'll just go for whatever gets the most points, and if there's not something that gets the most points, I'll just go with whatever I think is the best option, so. Um, I was wondering, you don't think I'm... I'm overdoing it, right? Sorry, I guess I'm the only one who can answer that. Hmm. I'm going to head back now. Welcome back. Greetings. By the way, how'd you fare in your exams? Not too shabby. <laughs> That's great news. I'm happy for you. That reminds me, Kirito-senpai was, uh, was top of her class again. I mean, where did she find the time? She's unreal. Excuse me. In two weeks, the moon will be full again. Uh... Dude, those freaks with apathy syndrome will be everywhere. Wait, I mean the lost. I mean, I feel bad for the victims and all, but seriously, it's, not, it's like there's no end to That's them. Technically speaking, there is an end to them. Six shadows remain. If we can eliminate them, the Dark Hour will vanish. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, what you're trying to say, I guess, is that fighting is more important than studying, right? I agree 100%. <sighs> um, anyways, the thing that I was freaking out about this morning is, if we check our email, Sonata wants to talk to us. This is his second Link episode. So I'm going to talk to everyone here at the dorm, and then we'll go ahead and uh, hang out with Sonata again. Makoto-san, I have a question. While you were attending your institution of schooling, what kind of emotions do you feel? This one's the more optimistic option, this is more realistic for me. Nothing is probably genuinely how Makoto feels, just because... I don't know, he doesn't seem to have much going on. Uh... I'll just say it's fun. Roger that, I will categorize school as entertaining. Um, um can I help you? Let's talk. Oh, right. Kirito-senpai is incredible. She scored so well on her exams even though so much has been happening. She can filter out all distractions and focus on the task at hand. I wish I could do that too. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I tried to do Sonata's voice. Ah, Yuki. I saw your exam results. Good work. Here, this is from the chairman. Oh, we get the reward here. That's cool. It is a reward for effectively balancing schoolwork as well as our <clears throat> extracurricular, extracurricular activities. Oh, that reminds me. It must be difficult for you to balance combat and studies. I should do more to help you all. Perhaps summer school would be beneficial. Well, let's wait and see how the others did. Hey, you saw that the exam results were posted today, right? It's great if you did well, but even if you didn't, try not to worry too much. With everything that's been going on, I'm sure you did the best you could. Huh? Exam scores? Dude, I don't care about that. Defeat in Shadows is more important than getting good grades. Any time spent studying could be used to go to Tartarus and... Don't get carried away, Iori. You should still study. You can learn from defeat. That's something that goes for our battles against Shadows as well. Alright, what's going on, Sonata? It's been a while since I told you I'd return the favor. It's about time for me to pay up, so meet me in front of Iwatodai Station. Oh, Yuki. Today's the day I finally return the favor. Are you free? Hell yeah! Yes. All right, then let's go. All right. This time, let's have a nice meal as we talk about our future battles. Or do you not care as long as you're the one who gets to do the fighting? Hmm. Our future battles, huh? What's wrong? Uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. First things first. Let's get some food. 
Hey, what's going on? Should we call somebody? There you are, Akihiko Sonata. Oh, you're the guys from before. Turns out you're pretty famous, huh? An up-and-coming boxer, that it? Time to pick up where we left off. Show me what you got. <sighs> Kicking your ass is gonna do wonders for our rep. No way we're gonna pass this up. Champ or not, look at our numbers. You ain't got a chance. This isn't fair. <laughs> Boxes are tough, ain't they? What? You can't handle a challenge? You're welcome to join him, though, Pipsqueak. See? We're reasonable, right? <laughs> you said beating me would do wonders for your rep. I thought this was about testing each other's strength. You idiot. I'm just gonna have fun kicking your ass because you're full of yourself. And who the hell cares about any of that as long as you win? Isn't that how you roll, too? <laughs> Looks like a fight is going to break out. I have to do something. So, you wanna go first or what? Get back. Look out, it's a fire! Are you shitting me? Get back here! Hey! Nobody runs away from us! <sighs> Running away is easy enough. It's losing them that's the hard part. Still. Made for a good workout, right? That was some quick thinking, by the way. Just what I'd expect from our leader. Not a problem. I don't exactly like turning my back to an opponent. But it doesn't matter in the end if I can't protect the ones beside me. And being outnumbered increases our risk of injury or damaging our surroundings. What I mean is, you made the right call. I owe you one. Hmm? It's addressed to me. It says it contains fruits, snacks, and beverages. Looks like it's from my parents. I'll take it to my room later. Your parents? Yeah, my foster parents that adopted me. I haven't kept in touch lately since I'm so busy. <laughs> but it sounds like they're doing well. I appreciate how much they care, but this is a little too generous. Want to take some of it off my hands? And again, you'll hardly make a dent in this either. Uh, you can share with everyone. Good idea. Would you mind gathering everyone up? Oh my, very intriguing. Everything is such high quality. I can tell just by looking. Your parents must really care about you. <laughs> At least you know how to behave in front of your parents, Akihiko. Don't you ever have anything nice to say about me? My parents have been good to me. I obviously haven't told them about what we do here, though. Wow! <laughs> when it comes to being considerate of others, you're a heavyweight! Glad to have you in our corner, senpai. There he goes again. He sure look good, though. Thanks for sharing, Sonata-senpai. Take whatever you want. Hey, hey this looks some really pie. good. What's that? Huh. Going for that oh, one, huh? Like you get that. For royalty. You have my thanks. That took care of most of it. I'm surprised they were so happy. Hmm. I've really got to show my gratitude. To my parents and to everyone here. Well, all this talk about my parents reminded me of some things from the past. Like, why I'm here right now. I guess I feel like I remember my reason for fighting. Glad to hear it. Well, don't mind me. Let's just say I've got a lot of room to grow. The dorm's gotten so much busier. The orphanage used to be something like this too. We all lived under the same roof, just having casual conversations. I'd forgotten what it was like, but it wasn't so bad. I remembered after you suggested we share with everyone. Let's do it again sometime. Tell that to my parents. I really gotta repay you in particular, though. Or we'll never be squared away. Alright, it's pretty late now. I guess we should clean up and call it a night. Huh? There's something mixed in here. It's a letter and some sort of handcrafted object. 
Looks like a gold medal that's made of cardboard. What? Is there something there? This is... Is it also a gift? No, this is mine. You won't understand what it means, but it's from a long time ago. Do you mind if I ask you something? You take on the role of our leader, and you're stronger than anyone else in your own right. That's more than just being talented. Where do you get that strength from? It's thanks to the bonds I have. Oh, I see. You mean you feel motivated because you have people in your corner? It's also because the social links I have with everyone up the power of my personas, but yeah. Bonds with others, huh? That might be something I'm missing. Well, whatever it is, you've clearly got something that I don't. But being jealous or trying to copy you isn't going to help me. That strength is yours alone. I'm going to get stronger, but I'll do it my way. Sorry, we were supposed to be cleaning up. I'll take care of the rest. Things got so busy that I missed out on my chance to thank you again. Hopefully the food was enough for today. I'll invite you out again some other time. I took Sonata's gesture of appreciation, then returned to my room. I feel like my charm has improved after seeing how Sonata cares for his parents. Oh, come on! I've been playing a lot of uh, the Yakuza games recently, so when I see a small group of thugs, like, walking up to... To us, I'm just like, oh yeah, just like grab one of them and just throw them at the others, or, uh, or like, just go like grab a bike and beat the crap out of them with it. And then I started like thinking about how, um, how Sonata has a few simil similarities with uh, Kiryu, who's the protagonist of the Yakuza games. Both grew up in an orphanage with uh, two best friends, a boy and a girl. Sonata's like uh, one of Sonata's friends in the orphanage was Miki. And one of Kiryu's friends in the orphanage was Yumi, who, and both of those names sound like kind of similar, both two syllables, both ending with uh, the letter I. And then Sonata has his other friend who wears red, and he and uh, Sonata refers to him by a nickname. And uh, Kiryu has pretty much the same thing with Nishiki from those game series. I will eventually get around to let's playing those games at some point because those games are incredible. Dude, summer break starts tomorrow. It's prime time for a little beachside romance. You know, I bet other guys would kill to be in our shoes. After all, we're staying in the same dorm as three super cute girls. You think so too, right? Yeah, totally. I'm gonna say yeah, totally, but I'm hoping it's... But I'm gonna interpret it as sarcasm. Yeah, totally. <laughs> but if you want to be more than friends, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. Kirito Senpai is top of the class and student council president. You'd have to be an uber nerd for her to give you even give you the time of day. Yukatan's pretty popular too. You gotta be as stylish as she is to be a good match. Fuka is, well, soft spoken and kinda hard to grasp, so you might need to take the initiative with her, I guess. Anyways, keep this hush hush between us, alright? He totally thinks he's in a dating sim, or like some sort of romance manga, or something like that. I, uh, oh my we'll god, you. Ugh. I forget if I mentioned this before, but I think he's voiced by the same. Uh, voice actor who uh, voices Joker in Persona 5, so that's pretty cool. Um, I guess me giving him just my normal voice is pretty accurate then, because that's probably the voice I'm going to give Joker when I get around to playing Persona 5. <clears throat> Please take your seats. Salve et coagula, or salve, rather. Your f teacher has suddenly fallen ill, so I'll be filling in today sick on the last day before summer vacation. That just shows you why you have to take good care of your health. Eehehe. <laughs> anyway, I'll be giving you all a crash course on alchemy, a branch of magic focused on, among other things, generating wealth. Oh, you like the sound of that, do you? Of course, who among us would turn down free money? It's human nature to want what one lacks. There's no escaping it. So, despite the lesson imparted to us by King Midas, humans have long sought a way to create create precious metals for themselves. However, the alchemists of old were not so arrogant as to believe they could create gold by touching anything they please. 
Rather, they sought a process that allowed them to convert cheaper metals such as iron or copper into more lucrative ones. This goal is the pinnacle of alchemy given form, the Philosopher's Stone. Regardless of their incentive or their, su or their success, there's no denying that alchemists <coughs> made significant impacts in the world history. The roots of alchemy originate in Hellenistic Egypt, with the city of Alexandria at its center. As the we Western Roman Empire fell, alchemy thrived in Arabia. Many of the Arabic alchemical texts written at the time have survived to this day. The earliest English translation of these texts brought the practice to medieval Europe, where alchemists gained both power and infamy. Also of note, there is a fascinating branch of Chinese alchemy called Wydon. These practitioners sought a working formula for an elixir of immortality, though rather than a recipe for gold. At any rate, the most important substance in the practice of alchemy is mer mercury, or quicksilver. It was thought that mercury could be used for, to form the Philosopher's Stone, which would in turn allow alchemists to generate gold. Alchemists endlessly toiled in their research, using all sorts of equipment and experimental approaches. There are some who argue that, if not for the alchemists' trial and error, modern chemistry would not exist as we know it today. Unfortunately, there's no definitive proof that a ph Philosopher's Stone was ever successfully created. In a way, it's one of the greatest trage tragedies of the human history. Moving on, alchemy has also been very influential in the field of psychology. Carl Jung, among, among others, recognized a kinship between alchemists and psychologists. Jung believed that psychotherapy could refine a mind to a stronger, healthier state, not unlike how the Philosopher's Stone was said to affect metals. Feeling sleepy. Should I close my eyes for a few minutes? Which is why I think it's such a shame that mainstream society has given up on alchemy. Young adults ought to strive for unusual goals. It offers the best chance to lead exciting lives. And after all, from the perspective of our ancestors, modern science may as well be alchemy or magic. If you work hard enough, you may very well discover your own form of magic. Well, that's it for now. Enjoy your summer, everyone. I force myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. Have a minute? It's about the track team. Since you just transferred, you probably haven't heard about the Mioho Cup, right? Well, let me tell you. On August 2nd, there's a major competition for track and field. There's this guy named Hayase. Total speed demon. We can't let him trounce us this year. We've got high hopes for you, so get ready to train hard. I'm gonna need you to show up from July 27th to August 1st. Don't go skipping school now. I've got a special training regimen in mind for you. ISA won't stand a chance. Competition's on August 2nd. Let's do this thing! Alright, so even though summer break begins tomorrow, we're not going to get a bit of rest because we have uh, the... We have the Mio-O Cup that we need to train for. Also, we have Yukari over here. Who now has a social link? Hey there. Oh hey Yuki-kun, looks like we're finally done with exams. That's a load off our shoulders, huh? By the way, are you heading home now? Let's walk home together. Yeah. Um, no thanks, maybe next time. Sorry, I guess I'm just not in the mood. I'm not sure how to explain it. Seems like there's something on Yukari's mind. If I want her to open up to me, I need to work on my charm. If I were charismatic, she might be willing to talk to me about her problems. This is why I was gunning for charm this whole time. Because on July 25th, the last day before summer break, if you have max charm, you can uh, talk to Yukari and actually, uh, you know, start a social link with her. Unfortunately, it seems like I missed the mark by just a little bit. Maybe if I hadn't uh, hung out with uh, people at the dorm, I probably could have maxed out charm. But whatever, it's too late to start, uh, you know, wishing that I had done something different. But yeah, other than that, I think this is a good place to end off the episode. I'll go ahead and just talk to this guy just because he has a new speech bubble. Summer sucks, man. I sweat so much my shirt gets drenched. I also just despise the feeling of being sweaty. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to be hanging out with someone. Who? Not Yukari, apparently. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.